I am the Alpha and the Omega, the one who was, who is, and is to come, the living one, was all in Greek, often found on icons. God is essential being. We have a share in it, in contingent being. We can not be. But once sparked, the soul will not cease to be. The only thing is that it can badly be, very, very badly be. And the moment of choice is already here in time. The outworking of that is the moment in eternity where that Alpha and Omega has the right to pronounce for he alone sees all and knows all and has the right to pronounce judgment. No priest can pronounce judgment in his name when burying a person. Our role is to hand on to divine mercy and to impetrate mercy. It is wrong to step into the judgment seat and there to pronounce, as it were, the verdict in God's name. It can damage massively the poor soul. Even Padre Pio pleaded that they not to talk of him as a saint, for he knew what that would mean at his death. He would be deprived the very thing he needed. The king is the high king. Near here we have the place of the high king of Tara. In ancient times he had authority, an authority which St. Patrick had to confront. But their authority lasted what a time, and they are now no more with us. But their soul too has gone forth and is in that great mysterious silence that awaits us all. That journey from which no traveller returns. The High King that we have has his own reign, and the preface of this day summed it up beautifully. High poetry and beautiful chant, well balanced and of high tone. Listen to the elements. so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty, an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. Is that what we see in our earthly kingdoms of today? Very different, I would say. What 
do we do? And over the throne of our heart, and that means of our will, to the High King, to the least in us, he may find no resistance to his divine authority, and that we may bring forth peace, life, truth, and grace there where his divine authority places us. Hic et nunc, right now, in time and in geography. There may he reign. Lord, I hand over all authority over myself, over all my faculties, body, soul and mind to you take over reign and through me heal and save all that you will until we meet under your divine gaze.